Well, good morning. I'm Becky DeWald from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. How's your day going today? I want to make a recipe for you today. It, I think it's going to be a great appetizer, but it could be a full meal too. And I saw it on Facebook uh, on our Healthy Living site. That's a site that if you're on my health plan, you can access for recipes. And I just, I keep thinking about it. So I thought, I've got to make that because I keep thinking about it. So it's a cucumber roll-up called Cucumber Sushi. And I think it's going to be good. So right now, I just started doing the cucumber slices. It takes 12 of these. And I'm going to get those done. And then I'll show you the rest of the recipe. Okay, I'm going to stop there with that one. Okay, I think I have enough now. We'll count them. Not that one. You have to just use the outside, not the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. So, the, I have my cucumber slices all ready. And now I'm going to do the next step, which is mashed avocado with a fourth a teaspoon of salt mixed in, two teaspoons of lime juice. I did this a few minutes ago. And it also has a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to mix that all up. ready and now the first step is it gets spread on my cucumbers that are going to become my sushi rolls I'm going to move that over so you can see it and I'll just spread it out on them I think anything with avocado is really really good okay I think that looks nice and even now you can see I've got my cucumber and my avocado and now I'm going to put my turkey slices on it so if you want to eat this for a meal you can I have exactly six ounces I believe of turkey slices I weighed them out that's one thing I've learned about recipes is it makes it so much better when you actually follow the recipe and use the amounts that are recommended so this is uh, low sodium turkey that I got at the grocery store and you can see this is going to make a nice little sandwich okay I think that's nice and even now and then I have uh, provolone cheese I'll include the ounces with this recipe when I post it I like and this is low fat provolone I find it at high V because I find low fat cheeses are kind of hard to find. So once I know the stores that have them. All righty. And then uh, I think that's it. And then I'm just going to roll it up. I hope this works. <laughs> works it's gonna be really cool I think there we go there's my sushi roll and I'm going to cut it into 12 pieces so I'll start in half and we'll do six two three four five six and then when I so that's how it looks but I'm going to put a toothpick through it Oh, great. Now my doorbell's ringing. All right. So I'm going to put these on my platter here. All six of all of them. There'll be 12 pieces and I'll hold them together. And I think these would be super for a party. I think I, if I, I should have rolled that a little bit tighter. But anyway, I also have some parsley I'll sprinkle on so it's pretty. And um, I think it's going to 
gonna be good. And if you smell this, it smells like super refreshing. So if you want to try, it's not perfect, but it's still going to taste really good. And if you want to try a nice fresh hors d'oeuvre like this, um, I think you should try this recipe because as you can see, it was a pretty darn easy recipe. Um, I'll have more recipes next week. Thanks a lot. And I'm going to enjoy this. I don't know, we might eat it as a snack or maybe Jean and I will split it for a quick lunch. Have a nice afternoon. Here is the finished product. I decided to lay them on their side on this tray. And as you can see, some of them rolled together beautifully. And some of them, I struggled a little. I think you can see I didn't get them maybe rolled tight enough. But hey, I tried a couple and they are good. And that doorbell in my video, for some reason that was Jean ringing the doorbell. Don't ask me why. Have a good afternoon.